All right, here we are at Old Cypress in the Da Vinci subsection. I've been all over Old Cypress. I don't think I've ever been into this subsection of homes. It seems to be the largest um, and nicest subsection of homes in Old Cypress, the largest lot. This is 0.42 acres. And we're at the end of the cul-de-sac here, which is you know always nice because then the lots kind of spread out in that pie-shaped um, look. There's a little preserve area over there. And so it's a cul-de-sac off of all another, you know, smaller road as well so it's super super private back here i mean it really is nice um you know there's a little walkway that goes around the edge of the house over here which is kind of cool and there's like a separate entrance to the garage from here there's like a little door that leads in over there on that side um so you can see just tons of space between the neighbors it does have the pre-drills for the hurricane shutters however um, when you do the research on this one, these people bought it from Suncoast in 2010 as a foreclosure. So the previous owner, according to the listing agent, had taken all the hurricane shutters. So there are no more metal shutters, you know, to put up on all these windows. Having said that, you know, they made it through, they made it through the two of the worst storms that we've ever seen in our lifetime in the past two or three years, and it made it through just fine. So... Uh, take that for whatever whatever you whatever you will three car garage roof is new in 2021 um, so brand new roof which is huge it's a little emblem right here inlaid in the marble floors when you walk in grand staircase to my left go all the way up obviously super high cathedral ceilings you got transom light up there um, you got your really cool electric fireplace with kind of your stone, your stone work that goes all the way up as well. And then you have the railing, wrought iron railing that goes all the way down as well. Um, this part of the living room is sunken, right? It does have a couple accents as far as the flooring goes in the marble. Then you kind of have your two little spots off to either side of the fireplace. One is a little wet bar over there. So it's neat, it's a really cool setup. Um, I'm gonna start, start this way. So this is the dedicated office as it is. Um, these wood floors are not, no, those aren't glued down. I was thinking they weren't. No, there's like spots where it seems like it's, I did it over here too. Sorry, as I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's totally glued down in spots. Plantation shutters throughout. It's a good sized room. This office here is, is bigger than I think most of the other rooms. I'd have to get the measurements on this, I did give you the floor plan, so hopefully the measurements are on there. I didn't study it well enough to know what the measurements of all these rooms are off the top of my head, but you know, that room seems to be the biggest of the guest rooms. This doubles as your pool bath, so that goes out down there. Got a little chair rail on the side. This is your master here. It does have an additional little bump up um, room over there, hobby room as they call those, or you know, a lot of people make them as nurseries or your home office, or even that could be like an exercise room, which would be kind of neat. Door that leads out, double crown in here. Okay. And then kind of back to the more Italian theme. And that's kind of where old Cyprus, you know, um, kind of lost a little bit on the current market was everything in here being just your traditional design for Italian, you know, at the time was, was amazing for, you know, 12, 12, 14 years, and all of a sudden, people went away from the Italian theme and um, look. So it kinda, a lot of these houses are ha been having to be redone unless people still kinda like that traditional Naples Italian design, which is what so much of it was for the longest time, right? Um, good closet space, his and hers, but to be honest with you, for a giant home, the closet space is not overwhelming, which is that's a little surprising. I don't think it's gonna matter to you too much, but those two closets are not that big. Plenty of counter space in the baths. You got sunken tub in the middle, right? And then I got a little mural here. I could probably do without. And then they probably redid this stone floor. I mean, I guess that looks more like a the newer spa look that people are going for with those stones. But it's got showers on either end. Okay, so you got a head there. You got a head over here on this side. And you can kind of look out from there. Antiquey white. Kind of see the space you have between the neighbors over here. Really is a great layout. The lot, the lot's amazing, right? It really is. 
Um, we're going to go back through here. And I do have central vac. That's what those little pieces are. Pop in through there. Some people love central vac. Some people never even, never even use it. Formal dining. They got all the kind of woodworking trims on the walls in here as well. We'll go to the guest or the laundry wing, I guess. This is the theater room. They're watching Christmas Story. I just watched, started watching the new one last night, the, H, the one on HBO. It has Ralphie as an adult. It's been funny so far. I've stopped about halfway through. Um, theater room is not any bigger, I don't think, than, than your traditional guest room, which is you know probably 12 by 12, something to that effect. Again, it's probably on that floor plan. I just didn't study it well enough to, to memorize it. This is a full bath, okay? So there's a full bath here and here. I don't think they've done too much upgrade since they bought it in 2010. I'm sure that, you know, upkept it very well and stuff like that, but I don't, they haven't done any like major remodels, right? Dump sink, cabinets, plenty of space in there. And they got an old school phone. Yeah. Oh, turn it off. Um, garage has good good size. There's that door that led out before. They do have a pull down stairs. Um, I didn't look up there, but I'm curious to see how much space is up there. Uh, three car garage, a little workbench back here. So garage is good size. All right, let's go see the kitchen. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna we'll do the kitchen last. We'll do upstairs, and we'll do the kitchen and outdoor last. Okay, so it circles around. Got one little landing area here. Bunch of nice windows, tons of light obviously in through here. They got all your recessed lighting as well. Like the wrought iron, I mean, it's it's a solid banisher. Sometimes I shake these and they, there's a little too much shaky shake. There's a transition in the wood here. This is probably the original and that seems to be the same wood that they put down in the, that den office down there. So you have three guest bedrooms up here, okay? First one's the daughters. Super bright colors, old school kind of color granite, that blue flake, I used to have that at my house. Again, the bathrooms are pretty, pretty original, you know, not that, that makes them bad, but as far as the design on them goes. Decent sized room up here, for sure. This one, kind of the same thing. This one seems a little more narrow than the other one. That room that we just saw, the pink room, seems like it's the largest of the, of the bedrooms up here again nice setup though tiles that go up glass shower door it's the blue the blue flake on this granite from that bathroom and just don't go with the colors at all it throws me off i mean it's not bad um i used to have it in my house i just don't it just doesn't go with the rest of the kind of the tan tan and stone kind of decor they have this room's really cool. This is kind of where I picture, you know, you talking about having your creativity room and your, your bookcases and stuff like that. Cause there's a nice nook back here to kind of start it. You might even be able to have one here on this wall and then kind of run it to here. It's tons of light, you know, put some more bookcases over there. I don't know that that was kind of my vision when I saw this room. Cause otherwise, you know, I don't know what you'd really use this room for. Um, plus it has access to the patio, um, lots of windows, lots of natural light. So here we are, little patio, you're sitting kind of to the left of or to the right of the pool area. Golf course is over there. So this is a big, this is a big space here. Here it is from a different angle. There we go, I locked it. Okay, so this is the third bedroom in here. It has the doors that go out. They have one little, you know, cut in right there for little knickknacks and whatever. Nice doors, nice, I mean, it's solid throughout. You got nice, Good, very, very well put together house with diamond builders is what she said, who was one of the preferred builders in here. So you can tell it's extremely quality, quality build. Um, 
Let's make our way down to see, give you kind of a view of the house from up here real quick. Make our way down to the kitchen and the patio. They got a doggy, so they got a little gate here to block him out of the kitchen when they probably want him to. Okay, they have your solar tinted windows in here. They're all beveled together, which is always a cool look. And then you got your kitchen. Fridge is original from what she said. Stove is original, you know. So those probably got to be replaced at some point. You got your glass front cabinets here. Island, you got double sinks, which is great for entertaining to have an extra sink. Your dishwasher, stone inlays there and where your hood is as well. Nice big pantry, love that. It even goes up way high, it goes way up there. Bringing an extra light, opening these up. So this room being the main living area isn't gigantic necessarily, but it seems like it's ample, plenty ample space to me. Um, flooring, get a better look at that real quick. And then they have your sliders that come together here, so you can pocket them out both to the left and to the right, bring the outside air in. And then it leads right to your summer kitchen. They have a buried thousand, uh, thousand gallon propane grill or propane tank that's buried in the yard, which is neat because you know you got your special permit for that. Um, sink out here, big hood. So this whole area is really neat, right? It is raised up here on this side, um, and it thins out. but it's really neat. That pocket's all the way down that way. And you can see how much covered space that they have. See the difference in the coloration from what the sun does, right? From here to here, all the same pavers, just the sun, the sun gets to, you can even tell over here on this side. They probably never sealed them, you know. Technically, you should seal your pavers. That holds the color in, and it, you know, keeps that wear and tear off them, but it's just funny the different coloration. Uh, they do have, you know, a bunch of different just ups and downs from these pavers, which is a little bit odd. Uh, again, you can see the pre-drill for all the holes up there. So it's a little odd to all the step-ups and step-downs. You being a younger guy, it's not going to make much of a difference, but definitely is a bit of an oddity. You can kind of see here to over there, and then that part wraps around. That's raised up. It's just a little strange. You got all those step-ups over there, which is actually kind of cool. Because that leads to the hot tub. I got a nice stone stone fountain um, what they were making there maybe they had a little fire pit in there be my guess did want to show you just real quick fountain lake view out there again tons of space between the neighbors go up here for a second so I want to go back none of those guys are looking directly on to you right they're all faced out the other way little preserve area right there so I mean like I said the lots on a perfect location and orientation and all that fun stuff um, decent sized hot tub that's what I want to show you. there's some pitting over there and over there in the pool it just means it probably it's gonna have to be you know resurfaced and a couple of years which isn't which isn't a crazy expense you know maybe three or four grand that's yeah, a bigger pool let's call it four or five grand um to remar side it but you can get the full scope of the patio from here all right i think we did it